redid my room this week and it started out really with just a new pair of sheets, which I'll link below, but it kind of turned into a whole rearranging, adding candles, and it's very, very hygge. This morning I have laid out all of the artwork that I have, trying to decide what to put up on the wall with the TV. I'm going to turn it into a gallery wall and you can see that green piece of tape. That's my sort of dividing line and I can decide what pieces go vertically or horizontally and where the top and bottom of each piece will go according to that level line. I think it will make it more cohesive but also have kind of an eclectic feel as well. The problem with art is that it takes a really long time to collect things and I don't have a lot of things. <laughs> Most of this or a lot of it came from Goodwill. There are some very nice photography pieces that we've had for years and years but as far as collecting art we've never really done that. It's I'm headed out this morning to meet some new friends, Nick and Damien, and we're gonna work on storm windows. We're gonna do a little troubleshooting, maybe a phase one restoration, and we'll go from there. It's a gorgeous day for a field trip and a country drive, and I'm really looking forward to meeting Nick and Damien. this house built? Um, we don't know the exact year, but we know that the first brick yard yeah. in Wanda was built in what, 1870s? Yeah. So within that decade, in the, in the wow. year. Wow, what oh, a sound. Isn't that so cool? It is, look at that. I don't want to about, about windows. About windows. Um, Have you guys done this one? As far as like fixing the structure of it, uh -huh. nothing. We have okay. really just reglazed okay. and ordered windows. Mm -hmm. That's like the glass. The paint, the yeah. glass. Yeah. Okay. And that's about it. Okay. Unless... So I think once this is glued and we make sure and get this piece square, mm -hmm. you know, see how it's leaning back like this? Yeah. I think then maybe eventually you'll go through and you'll do just like a little bit of woody pop. All right, y'all. We'll just kind of worry about it when we get to it, but we'll we'll square it up. Okay. Clamp like what? Probably glue and clamp it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So, this is what I do a lot with windows. Like I start and then I'm like, oh wait, yeah. let's do something different. You know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of just <laughs> yeah. you kind of just go with the flow here. for 
for today. We've added a little slurry of liquid wood and wood epox just to fill all those really rotten gaps. And the next step with this dries will be to glue this bottom portion here, right there in the middle, and then make more major repairs with full on wood epox, kind of filling in the gaps with actual chunks of it instead of the slurry. I had so much fun with Nick and Damon. We did the first step of the restoration process for the storm window, which was really just adding or reinforcing the rotten wood. Then we'll go back, we'll make some more repairs, some glue, glass, glaze, and it'll be good as new. <laughs> hey, Millie, you wanna be right there in the middle of it? Right in the middle of it. Yes, thank you. Oh, you are so cute, so cute. I'm up here on the ladder today. I'm just filling in some gaps. We have, it's not a permanent solution, but we've got a little hole or a large hole big enough for a critter. So I am closing it in for the winter. And then this side of the house is just a disaster. It needs a lot of work. Um, it's probably, it's at least half a summer's worth of work, I think. course only one strand over there works and half of this strand down here